Hi there, I thought I'd do an update video to show the changes that I've made to my ZMR250 quadcopter. One of the major changes was to replace the flight controller board from an Arduino Nano to another multi-Wii board, but this time it has the MPU6050 all built in and it just saves me a bit of room. It was a bit of a tight fit, especially with the battery strap going just above it, so I had to solder everything uh, onto some female headers and just bend the pins so it will uh, give a little bit more clearance for the battery strap. I also added in an electrolytic capacitor on the 5 volt rail just for good measure. So I bought the flight controller board off eBay for about $20. I was just looking for a cheap replacement and it looks like the arrow should have been pointing to the front of the quadcopter but for some reason it just wasn't working properly and this is how I ended up with. Uh, one problem is that the USB connector is on the back which means accessing the USB port is kind of hard unless you take the top of the frame off. Another major thing I did was move the battery and the camera slightly forward just to help out with the center of gravity issues I was having. It just kept on pitching backwards and no matter how much TX trim forward I did it would sl still slightly move a bit backward but now it's much better now. I only need like a couple of clicks of the TX trim. I was using some cheap battery straps before but after one broke off after a small crash and I can see another one starting to tear, I just switched to these Turnergy uh, battery straps and they seem good, good so far. I also switched cameras from the CMOS to the Surveilzone Zone CCD and just gives better picture. Another thing I added was an OSD to show my battery voltage. It's just based on the one uh, that Dennis made from RC Groups. After crashing my quadcopter a couple of times, I ended up breaking off the RPSMA connector from the video transmitter, so I ended up buying a cable off eBay that allowed me to directly solder it onto the video transmitter and gave me an RPSMA connector on the other end, so I could just plug in my uh, antenna to the RPSMA connector and just use uh, a rat strap and some blue tack to hold that in place. And as you can see, it's all been uh, held together by some Kapton tape and double-sided uh, tape on the bottom board and it seems to be holding up quite well. I also switched propellers from the Gemfan 5.3s to the Savelle Zone Unbreakable 5.4s. I had broken a couple already but they're nowhere as bad as the Gemfans. Um, and I also got this magnetic balancer to balance these props. I just put some duct tape on the bottom. And that's all the updates I have for this video. Thanks for watching.